Jackass is no joke. Every year in a small town in rural Bolivia, hundreds gather for a brutal fighting festival where, historically, they fight each other to the death. Knowing this existed a mere three hours away from us, we packed our bags and headed north with two questions on our mind. One, why does this exist? And two, what happens if someone foreign shows up? Okay, looks like we're here. Is it just me or does anyone else feel like they're getting weird looks here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? It's nice. Uh, by almost everybody. Very uncomfortable with all these looks. Shall we make moves before the boy lamps us? <laughs> Ideally, I want to talk to someone in English and find out what this is all about. So we're here with Max now, who is actually from Bolivia and has a much greater insight as to what's actually going on than we do. Max, do you want to explain who you are and why you're here? I'm a tour guide in La Paz and the reason why I'm here is because uh, this dance is very popular back in big cities. But the thing is that in a place like this, in Macha, this is where this dance was born. This way it was created. Now, what's the difference between like the one in big cities and the one we're gonna see today? Back in the days, the real tradition was that there would be fights to death. And the person who would die, this person was like the one that received the honor to be the offering. You know, his blood will be the offering for Pachamama to make the soil fertile. And who is Pachamama? Pachamama is basically Mother Earth. Policemen will be pretty much like the, the referees. It's like, okay, you, you, fight. The fight finishes when one falls or starts splitting. How many people tend to die in today's world from this? Oh man, like two or three people. <laughs> Charlie, how are you feeling, by the way? I'm actually a bit nervous now. Yeah, same. <laughs> In 24 minutes, when the clock strikes 12, and that thing goes yeah, off, it's going to be college. It just erupts. <laughs> Jesus. Please are away. Nice and loud. Tear gas is no joke. My eyes are freaking stinging like hell. <laughs> There's Charlie. You alright, man? Uh, yes. Bag it. Horrendous, but yeah, I was I've down for the count. Genuinely never been better. It helps. Which is gasha. This helps with tear gas, man. Jesus, they're still going. Duffy. I was just getting threatened. Or what? We're having a cigarette. <laughs> We're getting very close to someone starting a fight with us. Oh, I know really? that our blood isn't pure for the harvest, but everyone loves a McDonald's, don't they? Hey, this has gone from such a lovely day to chaos <laughs> so fast. I don't get what, I don't know what happened. <laughs> We're at the point where any beer we have is given on demand. Because we are not welcome in this country. Yeah, well, you're the most welcome if you've got a beer in your hand. But if you have a good fresh beer. Hola, amigas. Hola. Claro. Claro. Right, let's like it. Before they think we're trying to steal their women, let's Bag it. go. Duffy, come on. Lo siento, lo siento, mi amigo. Lo siento. I've seen this place, you get one later on. So in other words, you've got a crap ton of bodies later on. I've got three boys waiting for me. Excellent. Six. Hello, you guys. No, no, it's better. She can't get away from it now. You know what, boys? I could go and they sit down. Instead, we're walking in Scrap City. Back into the war zone. We know that this is the worst. Worst idea possible. Yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is such a long fight. Yeah, and the proper one to one. He's got steel on his knuckles. He can't use Love knuckle it. dusters. Love it. Jesus. We've got Charlie Salmon. Do you want to see this, Charlie? To be honest, there's no technique here. It's all slapping. They're not putting their weight behind their punches. And frankly, it's a better game. Do you want me to go in? No. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah. All the people in our group should be going in. Tough is not all. Go. The police have said, do you want to have a fight? I was like, fuck, oh, okay. Left. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's starting. They're off, they're off, they're off, they're off. Oh, shit. That's tear gas. That's tear gas, that's tear gas. It only takes one person to ruin it for everyone. What? No, because I mean tear gas. 
and this is a tear gas at the moment. Yeah, I've seen some uh, squinting eyes, seeing a lot of coffee. Right. It has been tear gas, the event has been tear gas. There's no there. safer over here. <laughs> We've got to line up. First punch first. There's, there's, there's a lot going on. Oh, someone's coming in! Oh, there's a lot going on! That's a tear gas of a lot right there. This is a mass riot. Why can't please? Look over there, you've got masses approaching. It's all gone to crap, lads. They said it was a fighting festival and they weren't wrong. Little did we know, while we were dancing mingling with the locals, one of our own had decided to step in the ring because something had been playing on his mind all day. Are you going in? I don't know, I'll see. I'm not going to say no if they accuse me. Accuse you? Yeah, I, I got in a fight. I got in one of the rings yeah. with, a, with a boy and got knocked clear out. Nah, not knocked out because I'm, I'm still aware. I landed a punch at him, he landed two on me, and I went down, fight over. Do you have concussion? No. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> switch. <laughs> <laughs> 